<laughs> so Mike Bluer made a quick road trip across to the east side of the state to meet uh, Donato and, and learn about Donato's custom lures. He uh, fishes St. Clair primarily and makes a, a lot of baits specifically for that body of water, but not only for that body of water. Uh, these baits are phenomenal. Um, Donato, hey, great to meet you, and uh, tell us a little bit about what you have going on. Um, I started making baits about in the seventh grade. Shop class made some bass poppers, and it's you know grown from there. Um, I'm a custom woodworker by trade, and I've been making wooden baits ever since. Um, primarily, about four years ago, I started selling them, um, and it's just grown from there. These and uh, enforcers are new, the shad style, and then same thing. About four years ago, I wanted to make uh, a a bucktail that looked like no one else because I didn't want to copy anyways anyone so I made uh, a fish head bucktail that's what I call them I have five different sizes I have the mini killer the small killer the blue or the bass the perch and the walleye um, and I use the Illumilite silicone rubber and products and resin to cast them if I had to make that out of wood it would be you know costly and time consuming and uh, yeah so, so you do a lot of your baits out of wood. Obviously, some like something like this that you originally carved to, to be able to machine that every time and get the detail, it would just take probably too long. So Correct. you mold it and cast it. Correct. Um, some of the other things, the uh, densities of wood and stuff like that. I mean, these are traditional wood baits, but you're doing more and more with rubber and resin. Is that right? right. Correct. I am. I'm uh, experimenting. Like this one is uh, out of the resin product, and this is out of wood. Um, and same thing with this, this is the big enforcer and those two are made out of, uh, one's out of wood and one's out of the, the right. resin. Sure. Um, just, I mean we're doing, you know, tests and seeing what swims better, what looks better, weight and all sure. that different stuff. Sounds um, good. Well let's show them a little bit about how you make the molds uh, and cast some up and, and let's go test some on the cool. water. No problem. Great. Donato is a perfectionist and was really a pleasure to kind of see how he makes and molds uh, some of his lures. Here you can see he actually makes a flat bed of clay first and then digs out the clay to set his piece into it. He found this to be a much easier way to find the middle point where he wants his seam line to be rather than building the clay up from the base to the halfway point. Once he cleans the edges, he uses a wood dowel to make a bunch of locators, he uses a corrugated plastic to make his mold box, and goes ahead and pours the first half of his two-piece mold, the high strength too. He lets the first half set up overnight, comes back in the next day and removes the mold base. Now he's got to dig the clay out of it. Sometimes the clay comes off really nice like it did here. You still have to go through and clean up any flash where the silicone uh, seeped around the mold box and really clean up the clay uh, around the piece itself. Once that's all done, he uses a UMR mold release to prevent the silicone from sticking to itself. Then he pours the second half of his rubber mold. When the second half is cured, he removes this mold box, separates the two halves, and demolds his original. Now he's ready to put the mold back together and cast his first part. He uses a couple pieces of wood and a rubber band to keep even pressure on it. Donato uses a combination of aluminite white and microbloons to cast his heads. Waits approximately 10 minutes and demolds his cast. Now he's ready to paint it, finish it, and put it on his bucktails. We met up with Jason, a good friend of Donato's, and a charter captain of Fins and Grins Charter Services out on St. Clair. 
to test some of Donato's lures. Jason fishes out of St. Clair Shores and spends a lot of time on the water, as I think you'll see here shortly. A little bit of last second tweaking of the lures and we're ready to get going. Let's show you how some of Donato's lures look in the water. This is a 10 inch enforcer, the real big bodied bait and it gives a great side to side wobble action and really was a ticket for this November fall day when we hit the water. 10 inch enforcer, it's a shad paint job. These running about how deep? Without weight, they run probably four or five feet deep. Okay. But we put weight on them, you know, and line out to get them to run to the depths we want. It's the red one. It's alright. It's alright. It was the third fish of the day on the Enforcer 10 inch uh, red rocket paint job. Uh, hopefully, catch a big one, man. Setup was uh, two ounces, 20 feet back. What's that on, Angelo? Um, third one out, whatever that was. Shad colored. Fifteen and two. Nice. Second from outside planter board. Another one on the red rocket. That's uh -huh. a pretty Pike. fish. It's a nice looking fish, yes it is. Are you hot? Are you in? Yeah, we're yeah. in. Nice one. Oh yeah. Nice one. Yeah. 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 Oh. I'm sending it. Got it. See a color. Another nice there looking fish. Wow, wait, wait, let me <laughs> let me go all the way down. There you go, Mike. It's just for you. St. Clair, baby. I want to hear one of those squeals. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was a once-in-a-lifetime deal. No, it wasn't. I've never ever screamed like that in my life. <laughs> I'm holding the going tighter. Hold on there. Hold on there. I'll get it. Got it? Yeah. Tighter the first time. That's a nice fish on that one, huh? Uh-oh. Don't need to knock him down or anything. Let's get rid of that one. Let's see here. That's bigger. That's <laughs> bigger. Nice little right. fish. Yeah, it's pretty. Down, Beautiful. Okay. I want to say a special thanks to Jason from Fins and Grins Charter Services. Uh, thanks for just an, an incredible day out there. Uh, I think we went 15 of 
23 fish, uh, which is just a, a phenomenal for the for the muddy water conditions that we had in November. Uh, and also check these guys out online, Donato's Custom Woodworks and uh, Fins and Grins Charter Services. It's a pretty incredible combination if you're ever looking to come out to St. Clair and do some musky fishing.